My name is Julie Ochipenti, and I'm the set decorator on Westworld. Taking words and trying to make sense of them visually can be quite challenging, but everybody just starts pulling information and you start finding the coolest shit you can get your hands on that you dress into your set. Making the world feel as real as your own world that you live in. You'd want people to come on set and not know where the set ends and where the set began. You know, a lot of people show up and go, oh, you just found this place. It happened to look like this. And you know it's completely all 100% from us. We built the whole world. Up, here we go. First position, and let's roll it down. How about Action! Your taste is your guide for everything. What you like shows up in your set. In the pilot, we set down the rules of Westworld. It should feel like you could close your eyes and open your eyes and you would know, no matter what comes up, it has a Westworld stamp on it. That's the goal. This year, I'm building a ton of weird shit that can't go to the robot store for this stuff. I mean, we go out to crazy places like the airplane graveyard. Oh, what is that weird thing? Oh, that looks cool. And you turn it into some machine that makes robots. And I got really cool guys that can come up with hydraulic lifts, mechanical. I mean, there's not even words for these things. Oh, that's a host making machine. Oh yeah, okay. Like that's totally a normal conversation that you have every day over the dinner table. There's no pretending that it's just a normal show, it's not. You have to be sort of a badass, especially as a woman in this business. I can get in and get dirty. I don't have a lot of fear, but nothing can prepare you for Westworld. Seriously, there is no training, there is no background course, there is nothing. You just show up and you die or you survive. 